Hello, Long. Welcome. Just trying to look through all the people we have left. So we're going to do Neela today. Hey, board. Welcome. I think we just have Neela, Thresh, Vi, and Yumi. So getting close to the end. I'm just going to be here for the point combo. So I think this is what we'll probably do for our Neela build. I do like Corrupted Star Fragment on her, both to buff her up as a champion because you can get her on the board right away, but she's pretty weak so you need to scale her up. But then also it helps give you more board space because with Neela and that duplication you have, your board fills up too fast so it's good to be able to get rid of some of your units. Yeah, I'll probably have to <laughs> increase the point values if everyone just has a massive stockpile. Hey, Psycho, welcome. So if we can do Neela pretty quickly and maybe do Thresh today as well, then we'll potentially do Yumi and Vi as videos for the main channel. So that means tomorrow on stream we might go take a look at my lower level account. Maybe do some fun Aurelian soul runs and some stuff like that. But later this week we might be able to do uh, that tier list maybe. We'll have to see. <laughs> yeah, I guess this is kind of funny in the lore. They have her both fighting Vord and or Voli and Mord. Although she actually attacked Mordekaiser yet, or is she still trying to? Because we don't actually see them ever fighting. At least I don't think. Yeah, Elowar is kind of what if slightly. It's not necessarily 100% canon. Which is a little sad, but at least we're getting more of a glimpse into their universe. All right, so yeah, I think we're going to go for the Scissors and Corrupted Star Fragment together. That way we're buffing up our Neela, as well as putting more pressure on the enemy and freeing up our board space. And then the Gravedigger Spade, just really nice on Neela, giving us extra draw and giving us fleeting cards every round to try to get our duplication off. So yeah, I think we'll go ahead, use that build. And let's see how we can do against Lissandra. Granted, with Mila, she's another one of those champions that I am inevitable is going to potentially hard counter because she can hit the entire enemy board for one damage. And that'll be rough. All right, Lissandra, Frost Gathers. All right, so Anivia has I'm inevitable. Hit the stairs. Don't think we want to go here. Inquisitor with I'm Inevitable. Man. Not the best. I feel like Neela's not going to be good against any of these. Hey, Sal. Sal Pichu. Welcome. 
and thank you for following. I appreciate the support. Get excited is interesting. This kind of looks the best out of what we can see. Happy to have you here. Yeah, I think we'll go ahead and get this. I'm trying to think of all the cards when they get duplicated, how good they'll be. And I think being able to do six damage and uh, make the enemy discard two cards could be pretty good. And then we have some synergy with this card as it is. So I think Jinx will probably be the best here. Sorcery, hold it, memory game. I feel like we need to do memory game because it's giving us a fleeting copy of the last non-fleeting card we played so we can choose what we're going to get fleeting and so essentially we can choose what gets doubled next round. So like all of these are good but I feel like this is the best for Neela. This being the first time I could be up is mildly unbecoming for a mod, but the time slot is brutal. Yeah, I get that. Yeah, memory game seems like the best for Neela. Oh, we probably want to get that deny. It's so good for Lissandra. Yeah, I definitely want to grab this. Hello, Jubilant Liar. Welcome. Is Neela good? I have her at three stars, but not leveled her yet. In general, she's pretty good. I don't necessarily know how good she's going to be into Lissandra. But in general, yeah, she's solid. Uh, I think we'll go for the Hired Gun because it's already good. But if we get this doubled so it, we drop one of these, it captures two enemy units. That could be pretty big. All right, updraft one. Nothing's really looking too crazy here. Elixir of Sorcery. This would actually be bad, because if the enemy gets uh, I Am Inevitable, this would be pretty terrible for us. Hmm... I think we'll risk it. We might not play it against some targets, but it could be fun. All right, let's leave it at that. I think we're going to go down to the bottom because it that stairs is going to be pretty terrible for us, I think. And we don't want to mess with I am inevitable. Let's try to go down here. But that means we have to go against the Yetis and I hate the Yetis and they have at last they awaken. Uh, let's get rid of this one. I do like the list. Yeah, we'll hold on to this here. Yeah, the Yetis are terrible. She's the type to win more with a good support champ, or sh she can usually do it on, on her own. Uh, so she's normally fine on her own. But playing her with, like, the Oath of the Guardians build is also pretty solid. So you do, like, Oath of the Guardians and Double Star Gem. That's also a really solid one. Warm hearts and hot soup. No time for soup! We've got a move! I slay horrors and I smile. Alright, this is gonna. Uh, 
I think if we play this one, we're going to overdraw too much, which is a little worrying. <coughs> Goodness. Let's see. We could use a title here. And yeah, we have our star power now puts everything back in our deck, right? When you discard a card, create a copy within your deck. Yeah. Yeah, I like Corrupted Star Fragment on Neela. Often our board gets too full, so it's really helpful to clear out our own board and buff off our Neela and make her a win condition. Alright, so this is good, but dropping two of these would be massive. Let us meet dark skies with bright souls. Uh, do we want to kill the tentacle? Sure. And we'll summon another giant tentacle. Mother serpent guides. So this will be a solid amount of damage. Alright, they're probably going to start dropping all of their... All of their big yetis. We're doing the list here, because since that's going to be the last non-fleeting card we played, uh, we'll be able to duplicate it next round. Oh my word, it's so much draw. All right, so we can go ahead. Oh, we could make them discard. We have so many uh, things we could play. I guess we don't need to do our list on this unit that's already vulnerable. So let's maybe go ahead and duplicate this one first, get another big tentacle going. Uh, hey, TJ, so we're going with uh, Spectral Scissors, Corrupted Star Fragment, and Grave Digger Spade. Uh, I think we'll drop this here. To you, brother. True joy. Being here, dancing in all the beauty of life. Alright, so they're not going to have any blockers. And we have an entire board. Uh, Grave Diggers gives you plus one draw at the start of the round, uh, but that one you draw is fleeting. So it's really good for Neela because then you get more fleeting cards. Our cards actually, like, they're staying even, which is pretty crazy. Uh, sure, we can just devour the tentacle again. Actually, let's... Alright. Attack like this, leaving one behind because we're summoning another unit. All right, GG. The Yetis had really bad luck there. Truly, this is the greatest of joys. Yeah, for most champions, it's not good because they don't want the fleeting, but pretty great for us. Uh, I forget if it's from Alawi or not, to be honest. Uh, we'll grab the Boom Boon here. Because Iceborne Gauntlet, great removal. But again, if we can get this fleeting, so we play this once, we get two captures out of it, would be crazy. Alright, give an enemy vulnerable. Create a fleeting. Hmm, probably wouldn't have mana to play them, actually. Get this start a game, discard one to deal two to the enemy unit in the enemy nexus. That's not terrible. Hmm. 
I think I want to go for the Yeep and Warned because it pairs well with the list. I like getting those free attacks in. All right, so champion item chest, adapt the Tron. Let's go up here for Warden of the Tribes, and at last they awaken. Yeah, it's pretty solid. It's just a one cost, but can potentially give us a free attack. Let's get rid of the get excited. And we can hold on to the rest. I, I like Test of Spirit as well. Yeah, that's another fun one. Bilgewater does have a lot of really good, like, zero and one cost cards. Uh, let's just drop this here. Yeah, Neela's kind of one that sometimes she feels absolutely busted. And then other times you're like, man, this is... This is terrible. Alright, so... We would die. Let's see what item we get. Alright, we'll potentially... Yeah, I think we'll just pass. Oh man, they're getting... A lot of damage. Alright, let's... Drop this. And then this can potentially kill some of their units. So if we got quick attack, we'd be fine. I just don't know if I want to roll those odds. But yeah, all of these are strong enough to kill our Neela. But we also don't want to take all that damage. Which is a little rough. So this should go off twice, because we haven't done it yet. So we're going to get two items. Uh, yeah, we'll... We will risk it. Otherwise, I feel like we're going to be in a bad spot. We actually did get the quick attack. Yeah, I was extra greedy and went for the toughest one. How good is this build compared to get champions and double their uh, star shards? This is the first time I'm playing this build, so not entirely sure. Now our celebration can truly begin. Finding details is my duty. Let's drop... Yeah, this here. Well, which one do we want to get doubled? Yeah, we'll double our title invocation. So let's try to kill some of their units. Goodness, that's a lot of damage. How about the party trick? 
Uh, yeah, I think it's Star Gem. And I think it gives your champions 2-2, two, two, right? Maybe this 1-1. One, one. Wow, I've never seen them pull that out before. Well, that's bad. And I don't necessarily think there's a way we're going to stop that. I didn't know they had this. All right, we need to draw one of our capture cards. That's really the only thing that we're going to be able to do to stop this. Okay. We're fine. Everything is fine. No reason. No reason to be alarmed. Easy. This can be fun. Watch. Uh, yeah, let's drop this. Give it a whirl. We can give. Sure, let's give that one vulnerable. Our hired gun has another capture. So much to play for. All right, we're fine with trading our units as long as we are only one with units. Uh, yes, Lissandra had the Frost Gathers, I believe it's called. Alright, we're gonna pass. We want them to play one... Well, I guess dropping two of these isn't bad. Although we need room for both of the hired guns. We're somewhat doing that just to make sure they don't pass and hopefully play something else. Oh, double watchers. Alright. I see you. Man, goodness. Do you guys just, like... <laughs> uh, can you stop with the annoying cards? Uh, Frost Gathers is... All your units have vulnerable, and the enemy has plus three health. So the issue is we have a hard time wanting to attack with anyone. Because... If any of our units let go of the thing they're holding, it's gonna be bad. So we'll attack like this, doing as much damage as we can. Although we won't be able to kill both of those. Yeah, we just need to start getting damage down. So we're going to release bad units, but we can capture some more. Uh, I think that was the Beguiling Cobra. Let's 
All right, I think we'll stop there. Uh, that's a lot of overwhelm. Yeah, I don't think there's anything we can really do to stop this, but we might be able to manifest something useful. Alright, none of our good cards. Yeah, we don't really have anything to deal with all the overwhelm. So, don't have enough big units to uh, get rid of their overwhelm. Also, one issue is that I haven't played Neela in like a while, and Neela is one that I feel like you have to be a little bit more practiced on her to do really well. And I can't remember the last time I played her. <laughs> Alright, let's go again. Because I definitely could have played that a bit better. Uh, let's... These are decent. Let's get them out of our opening hand for now. And the Warden of the Tribes... They just scale kind of... Or they ramp up really fast and hard. You need to it's my kind of critter. really deal with them. Get bloody, get paid. <laughs> uh, so we could do another hired gun. We might actually. Uh, Alright, so they'll be able Don't to get... My way. They'll be able to kill one of these, but we'll get good damage down, even though one of them will get released. Yeah, pretty much the Avrosian Trapper. Uh, we don't need... well... We could kill that unit, and then we'd also get a... Uh, decent-sized blocker. And we could do that there. I think let's play this first, and we might play this second one. We're not rushing to get Neela on the board. Right now we're just trying to kind of survive and stabilize. All right, that doesn't... Oof. Mm. I was gonna say that doesn't have overwhelm, so it's not as big of a deal. But only one of these two will be able to block it. But I guess this will give it some more spawn, so yeah, we will be able to block it then. Alright, not too bad. Alright, let's drop this, kill that. We could do this, but I don't know if I want to. Ah, sure, we'll get the extra draw. Where do you stand on cold shots? Time to make the coin. Give us some room. All right. Solid amount of damage. Definitely going a bit better this time.
Hey, look, we win. What terrorizes you? Take me to them. So we could just use get excited, but actually they have too many units. I was like, was going to use this, but since they have that many, it won't actually work. Oh well, GG. Hey Fee, welcome. Just playing Mila. Ah uh, yes, this is still the first run. The river bends, but never breaks. All right, when you play a spell, grant me one one. Not bad. Play me discard two. Attack draw two and grant them fleeting. I think I'd rather just get the assembly bot, to be honest. Yeah, we had... Well, we messed up on the first ward in the tribe, so we had to do a retry. Uh, Shadow Totem. This would have been really good if uh, we didn't have Corrupted Star Fragment, because then we could make a whole bunch of Neelas. But it doesn't actually work that, that way. So we'll just go for Farsight. That'll be still decent. Although, we're still going to make a copy. Yeah, we will actually, we will actually go for the Shadow Totem. Finally equip my Elder Dragon with Portal Pals, but still, Mana Gem is my trouble. Yeah, gotta get those Star Forge Gauntlets. Alright, Frost Coat Cub, and Secrets Hidden by Frost. How fun. Uh, let's get rid of both of these. Hmm. Sure, I was hoping we'd have someone else. And I smile. Well, that's rude. Submit to ecstasy! I was hoping we have another card we can put in the middle. Even this is bliss. Because then this one would summon another one, consume it, and then this one would also summon another one and consume it. Something I used to do with Nora, which could do a lot of damage. Alright, we want to kill that. So, let's do a Formless Blade. Into Make It Rain. We don't want them to get just a whole bunch of extra draw. Oh boy, that's going to be a lot of damage. I feel like with Neela, she can be so strong, but it's also just part of down to luck of what you draw more than most other champions. Alright, let's drop this here as we can potentially kill some or all of their units. Oh, I guess it just goes off three times. Oh my word. We're so close. All right, let's discard this here. Eh, these will just... If we attack with both of these, you're gonna get... blocked by the Den Mothers. If we attack with Neela, she will also get blocked. And the extra stats won't really be worth it. Little, little sad. Uh, sure, let's throw this in there. 
So we have Crab the Star Fragment, Special Scissors, and Grave Digger Spade for our uh, Neela. Oh, they are not waiting at all. Uh, let's... We have to discard something. Joyful and swift. Well, that's not helpful. Endless delights unfold around us. Rejoice! Yeah, she's not healthy enough. Let's see. I was trying to go for our... Oh, what is it called? Spawn 3 spell. Alright, so... I have to rely on this killing both of these. Because we're like two health away. So if we kill both of these, we can barely survive. Uh. <laughs> uh. Yeah, we could have killed with the urchin. I was just so focused over here. Look at that. Easy. Oh no, the puff caps. Okay, we're completely out of puff caps. Oh my word, we're drawing too many cards. Interesting. <laughs> so we could drop double hired gun, capture some of their units. These are all going to hit the neck or hit all of their whole board. They're all going to ping the board for negative one health, which would be interesting. Just trying to think of what is the best possible option we can do. So unfortunately, two of the Neelas will kill the other ones. But that with our Make It Rain might actually be able to do a lot of damage. I think let's just attack and maybe try to get excited or make it rain. Yeah, let's... Ah, oh, no. <laughs> Sad. So we could use a Get Excited to deal 6 damage, and we actually could have ended the game, potentially. The Make It Rain will kill whatever it hits, though. Which is probably more worthwhile. Yeah, let's just go like this, I guess. Dealing 
We almost could have actually done it. Oh, that's sad. If they'd let us play long enough, we can actually do some crazy things here, but they'll probably open attack. Huh. Oh, well, they still could open attack. What's the thing you hate most in this adventure? Oh, that is a very difficult question. There is a lot. Hey, look, we're alive. Uh, uh let's... Go like this, and let's discard... Uh, hmm. Guess we can discard. This is a Neela. We could play Neela again. Eh, not worth it. Oh, whatever. We'll just get rid of a Flame Stompers. So I'll deal some damage, get rid of one of their cards. Sure. block with see yeah we can kill her and play another one but we're gonna lose out on all of the extra copies and so all those extra copies will go away which won't really be that helpful thanks derp yeah, this is fleeting. If it wasn't fleeting, then I would definitely kill her and then play her next round, get a board full of her. I mean, yeah, we could kill her and just try to draw more of her next round. Alright, let's hope we get another fleeting copy of Mila. Alright, let's play this. Oh, game freaked out. Uh, so duplicate is... that's just Neela's power. The power we have, we got, uh, memory game. Alright, I'm gonna use one of these, see what we get for our fleeting cards. Alright, so nothing really great that's gonna... help us too much. I think let's potentially just drop this and get rid of one of the, uh, their other units. Get bloody, get paid. I think I'll probably pass we won't have enough damage and if we attack they'll get a bunch of their cards back right now i'm trying to just get like burn and discard uh to try to end up winning Don't stand in my way. yeah because if we attack we don't have enough to kill them so they'll be able to survive and just get their, their board back 
But this is a tough situation. We have more captures. That's kind of the funny thing. All right, does it tell us what people have captured? I don't think so. Hey, Jump, welcome. We're just barely holding on, probably gonna die here. Because yeah, I don't really see a way out of this, sadly. All right, I'm going to try to capture their, their Overwhelm, but I don't know what all these units have. I think this one actually has one that's not... That's not Overwhelm. It's the one that's going to be given another Ephemeral copy, but it's not Overwhelm. Who's on top of the board today? Ooh, got some fighting yet. Make it worth my while. Still alive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I look forward to being done with, uh, Lissandra. Definitely. Oh no, not a puff cap. <laughs> uh, puff caps are bad. Yeah, the puff cap is probably going to be the thing that kills us, which is kind of funny. Yeah, this is probably going to be, we're probably going to draw a puff cap and we're probably going to die from that one puff cap. Yep, there it is. Well, that was actually pretty fun. Uh, we were going to pretty much die anyways. <laughs> Jump. And potentially if we drew the right cards, we would have maybe had a chance to survive or do something to end the game. <laughs> well, that was pretty fun. Uh, I do think this build definitely is solid. It's great if you want a build that's more focused on Neela and less of using her as a support champion. Otherwise, the Oath of Guardians is pretty good. Also, this is one that I'll probably try again later. Uh, just because Neela is one that's good to have a little bit more practice on her. And I haven't played her in, I think, maybe months. Uh, gonna give Oath build a shot? Uh, maybe. We'll, we'll end up seeing. I know the Oath build is really good on Neela. I've used it many times for other things. All right, let's go ahead and give Thresh a go. And I'm probably just gonna use his like normal go-to build. Uh, with this one, you can level him like turn two, potentially. And so if you have a really good support champion, you can level him and then pull them out and it can be pretty crazy. Pretty, pretty fun. I guess I can change the stream info. Right, Thresh versus Lissandra. See ya, Jump. All right, support champion. Kale is interesting. I feel like... Alright, Kale's definitely the best out of these. We'd pull her out. She'd capture someone. That would be pretty solid.
Yeah, I think let's try this out. Sorcery, hold them off, grit. Uh, yeah, they changed his power, so now Thrash, Thresh costs one less for each ally that died this game. And then uh, you get one one for each unit that died last round, as well as all their keywords. So, made him Thresh a bit better. So Sorcery is really solid. Having more mana to play with. But Frostbite's also really good, which is difficult. I think we'll go for Hold Them Off because we're going up against Lissandra and they have ridiculously big units sometimes. So I think we'll go here. Not that crazy though. Double attack is interesting, especially because we could give that to other units. And Dawn Speaker's effect would go off fairly often. Brainworm. I don't really like Aphelios that much. Okay. I'm fine with that. Yeah, let's grab Dawn Speaker's. Because we could, since we have Corrupted Star Fragment, directly give that to Thresh. And then that double attack could then go on to another unit. So that's pretty good. Barrier and Spell Shield is really good into Lissandra. But I also like Black Spear. I think we'll go for the Friendship. Again, we're taking more defensive options. Just because Lissandra is a pain. Uh, so Thresh's Relics. We're going with uh, Disciple of Shadows, Corrupted Star Fragment, and Succubus Brand. So Lissandra has all things grow cold. At last they awaken. Secrets Hidden by Frost and Secrets Hidden by Frost. I don't really like Omenhawk, but that's not the worst power for them to get. Yeah, I don't really want to deal with Yetis again. So let's go ahead and try to go down here again. So yep, Omenhawk. Alright, Thrash, Phantom Prankster... Yeah, this is all right. So this is one of the great things about Thresh. You can play this turn one, and with Disciple of Shadows, you immediately have uh, some cost reduction. All right, so we won't quite be able to kill that, which is unfortunate. So I think let's get rid of their Unscarred Reaver. Yeah, that looks all right. Alright, we actually don't want to block here. We want to have three units for Thresh to be able to kill. And the three units is actually very important. Because you drop Thresh, he kills all three, and he summons three more. Now Thresh's level up condition is I've seen three units die. So we have three die. We can replay another unit. He's going to see three more die. Uh, Cursed Keeper, Phantom Prankster. We want to get the stats on Thresh. Let's drop this here. So this kills all three of these, leveling up our Thresh.
And now we can pull out our Kale in our first attack. Uh, sure. Well... So this is one of my favorite combos you can do with Thresh. I think it's so much fun. It's such a strong opener when it works. Leave your bags in the door. You can see the Debastian border from here. All right, let's go ahead and drop the phantom. Well, actually, I wanted to use the divine judgment, but I guess we can use friendship. Interesting. I thought they would have tried to grab someone. Alright, so we can kill that, kill that, and then let's go ahead and do a barrier right here. Alright, that looks decent. Yeah, looks good. Being able to get all these keywords actually and put them on some of our big units will be pretty nice. Alright, here, let's just attack with Thresh. Don't really want to kill our Kale. If they try to do something, actually, just in case they have a Frostbite, we'll preemptively do a Spell Shield, because Frostbites are normally burst speed. I don't want to deal with that. All right, GG. Yeah, Thresh can actually be pretty solid. Transcendent in divine glory. All right, Sapling Toss, two units for one. That seems pretty good. I mean, six mana gems already a hard stun is good i think we'll try to go from the more aggressive sapling toss but this honestly would be pretty solid to pick up another person with double attack three cost impact twice I mean, we're only saving one cost reduction. Yeah, I think we'll go for the double attack because we can spread this out to other units as well. All right, I hate the Shaman. I also hate the Scavenger. <laughs> uh, I think we'll go for the Scavenger just because I hate the Shaman more. Also, the I Am Inevitable, while it's annoying, it doesn't hard counter us as much as it does some other units. Hmm. I think we'll still reroll that one. A warrior needs a drum beat. Well, not good that we didn't get our Thresh. The waters give you life, child. Yeah, since we don't have Thresh, we'll sacrifice one of our other units. It'll still give us cost reduction for our Thresh. We're just not able to pull off that same awesome combo we did last time.
All right, so we could do Curse Keeper. Yeah, let's drop this here. That's the most annoying thing about this deck, is they just end up playing your own cards against you. Uh, nice that they were able to immediately trigger that uh, Empower. Alright, double attack. Could start getting this going. Yeah, I think. Let's attack, get rid of that. I think I want to be a little bit more defensive, so the only person that can block to kill this is the soldier. Alright, we'll drop this to start buffing people up. <laughs> Uh, they're replacing a lot of their cards, though. Yeah, being able to get her on the board really early is so good. I think I'll drop Kale later. I think getting her own Dawn Speakers on the board it wouldn't be bad. Well, there's our vengeance. Uh, sure. Alright, nice. nice. They don't want to... ...do anything. Alright, I think let's attack with everything. Get rid of their Dawn Speakers. And this should be a lot of damage. There you are. I've got this. All right, so we could drop this to get some more draw going. I'm a little bit worried about overdrawing. But it's probably still worth it. Although we would be able to level up our Kale. So yeah, I think we'll drop this here. Uh, so Thresh's power. For each unit that died, Thresh costs one less. Which we haven't drawn Thresh, so that doesn't actually help us. But then this one, grant a random ally 1-1. One, one, and for each unit that died last round, all of their keywords. My light shines! Just and righteous. But we're doing some pretty good scaling right now. So as long as we can survive, we should be able to end in our next attack, I think. Well, that is unfortunate. But all these keywords should hit someone else, so we should be fine. Who will stand with us? Get him. Get him. Honestly, most of our board has double attack now, which is pretty awesome. Uh, I think we're doing fine, so let's just drop our messenger.
Alright, this one got uh, the elusive and the lifesteal. So this should just be game. GG. Yeah, Kane's level up is awesome. Those or Kale. Not Kane. <laughs> Yeah, so getting keywords for Thresh is really important. So there'll be cards that like have pretty terrible keywords, but you don't really care because they'll die and then you can uh, still use those on someone else. So Mark is pretty solid, but I think we'll go for the Green Glade duo. For one, we can play it for free, but then we can start getting elusive cycling through our units. So I think we'll go here. But yeah, Mark is pretty good. Hey, look, this is where we died last time. So Frost Coat Cub and Feed the Pack. So if Deathless dead, it still count. So if something died with Deathless, yes, I think that should still, since it technically died, it would count as a death and those keywords and stats would go to another unit. Uh, let's get rid of Spirit Leech for now. We're fine with the rest. Nice, we got our Thresh. Everything's better with company. Says you. <laughs> Life is the rain that splits the skies. <laughs> So we'll drop our Thresh next round, and he's going to annihilate this board. But he'll be able to pull out our Kale, which will be good. drop this one here just for a blocker. We don't have room for both spiders. This will level up our Thresh, though. Thresh is pretty fun. So we will drop this to get all those keywords, and then we're going to consume this unit with our Thresh. Ah, oh, don't do that. Well, that sucks. So we still can grab all that for our, our Thresh, and we probably will, just because he would then work as a blocker, but we're not going to get all those, all those other stats since they're all gone, sadly. So he won't actually be able to kill anyone. Also our Kale probably won't kill anyone either, uh, but we can drag, actually no, Kale's going to grab this when she comes out. So we'll drag this one here. Hopefully Kale is strong enough to survive. We'll have enough room for her, right? Yeah, we should should be fine. Let's just go like this. Yeah, we could have done massive damage here. Yeah, they might kill our Kale. Oh, nope, she got enough to do quick attack. Perfect. 
but oh yeah because of the thrashing husk <laughs> rip I was worried that was gonna happen but I was like we'll be fine right man they really hate my husks All right, we'll try to get this on the board. That life steal is going to be pretty important. All right, this one can go here. Well, we have elusive, so we can potentially just go around them. all the stats hit uh, the other one so this would give us double attack but I want that life steal granted double attack we'd probably just end the game right here yeah I think we'll end up doing that by the strength of our convictions don't frostbite it Damn it. Ah, oh, that's so frustrating. All right, this one we won't kill because our Thresh is already pretty big. We'll drop a messenger. And these will be blockers for next turn. You have to... Oh, that's not good. You have to get the unit while they have the actual stats on them. Like, just because this gets empowered next turn doesn't mean that empower goes over to Thresh. He just gets the keywords that are there. Uh, yeah, let's... He was here. The good thing is... The units, even though they're killing them, it doesn't particularly matter because this just means these keywords are going to hit some of our other units next round. So the issue for Thresh is if you don't have anything on the board and then you lose all those stats and keywords. Otherwise, as long as you can keep something on the board, you'll keep all the keywords that your units have. So, like, we have double attack and thresh or, on our thresh now. We're not going to try to consume this just in case they try to frostbite us. Still might happen, but we'll potentially end the game right here. Alright, not... Wonderful. But I think that like that's all we can that's really we can do about that. Words move hearts and armies. Alright, let's go ahead and kill that, because keeps giving them more units. So we can get some more blockers going. Yeah, I mean, we... <laughs> we really could have won several times, but we've just been... Yeah. Getting some kind of bad luck. Oh, that having to overwhelm is bad. So we're just dropping extra blockers. And getting rid of all my units that have lifesteal. 
All right, so they have too many units with Fearsome. We can't really block any of that. All those Frostbites just really messing us over, screwing us over. Sad. We were so close. The enemy just always had the right cards at the right time. Like, there was like two or three attacks where it's like, okay, we'll be able to end the game here, and then they just happen to have the right frostbites, the right strikes. So, kind of unlucky. Uh, Vengeance. It's good, but we need our other opening, or like, cheaper units. We will hold on to both of these because they can really help us get some great board-wide scaling. Also, we do not have our Thresh, which is a little rough because Thresh is very important. Yeah, we don't have fast enough removal, so they just start scaling. And they have the all things grow cold, which is a pretty deadly combination. I guess we'll drop this here just so we have a blocker. Well, there goes our blocker. Attack with this, just so we can get something going. He'll die, but that's fine. We could save him, but we actually kind of want to get some deaths going. Our Dawn Speaker will then be able to buff up our other units. But yeah, this is not looking... <laughs> Not looking great. We're just not drawing the cards we need. All right, so we could get barrier. But we probably just need units to be able to block. All right, two of ours can, not terrible. Good. Just leave me alone. Uh, we'll actually block this one because we could kill it. <laughs> uh, not going the best. So this, beginning the attack off, won't really be able to do too much. What does he want from me? We'll let this be a sacrificial unit. We need someone to die so the Dawn Speaker will continue to buff everyone else up. Oh, look, our Thresh. 
Oh, of course. Frostbite. So our main hope was going to be that lifesteal. Luckily, their overwhelm unit is... Uh, frostbitten. So Kale would die, but she'd probably be the best option here because she'll be a blocker and she'll get rid of one of their attackers. See, so yeah, I think we'll drop her here. Alright, so we have to get rid of our Kale, and even then, we don't have quite enough blockers. Well, that's gonna be game, sadly. I was enjoying our Thresh run. Yeah, but that's really kind of the whole Lissandra adventure. I mean, winning is very much a large amount of luck, and it's like, yeah, 90% luck, 10% skill. Well, that is a bit unfortunate. All right, so I think what we're going to do, uh, Yumi, I'm probably going to do Yumi tonight. And then we also have uh, Vi. I think both of those will be ones that I probably do for the main channel. So probably the stream tomorrow will be on the low level account. We'll probably do some ASL stuff there. Yeah, Lissandra Adventure. <laughs> Once I'm kind of finished with it once I've done everyone and maybe tried to win with everyone then it's like I don't want to touch it again for a long time it's like I'm I'm good thanks uh, so yeah these are the only two left I think and so I'll do these both for videos in the main channel and so tomorrow will probably be low a low level account and probably later this week we'll end up doing uh, the tier list we'll see well I guess the week is almost over so it might be early next week Actually, wait, today, uh, today is Thursday. We might actually do a variety stream tomorrow. We'll have to see. Uh, but thank you all for coming and hanging out today. Even though we weren't able to win, it was still a pretty fun day. I enjoyed both playing Neela and Thresh. Part of that is the champions themselves were just fun to play. Uh, so there's a roguelike game that I was sent that's I've just barely played it, but it's been pretty fun. It's like Ark something And then the other one would be Hitman. They sent me the like Hitman collection and that's actually been <laughs> Pretty fun to play as well So those are kind of the two variety games that will be happening over the next couple weeks and I'll just show them on stream. Yeah, Lissandra is just brutal. There's some, like, especially for the Neela one, it's like, okay, I definitely saw some places where I could have played better. And I'm sure I could have played, like, a little bit better for the Thresh one, but some of it's just, like, there's nothing you can do to win. It's just... That's the way it's gonna be. Which is definitely disappointing. You did it once with Aesil and that's it. Yeah, and you can even lose with Aesil if you get bad luck, which is kind of crazy because it's almost impossible to lose with Aesil on most challenges. Uh, that'll be it for, um, uh, for me, though. Thank you all for hanging out. I will hopefully see you all tomorrow. I won't be streaming Saturday and Sunday, but we'll be back at it on uh, Monday. So hope you all have a great rest of your day. See ya.